Okay, A24 has unveiled the first trailer for their strange yet original adventure dramedy, Swiss Army Man. <laughs> <laughs> the movie debuted at the Sundance Film Festival this past January to a passionate yet controversial response from critics and festival goers. The film, described simply as the farting corpse movie, stars Paul Dano as a man stranded on an island who, as he's about to commit suicide, finds that a corpse, played by Daniel Radcliffe, has just washed ashore. Dano and Radcliffe subsequently embark on a journey that is hilarious, sweet, sad, and incredibly strange. The movie is written and directed by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinart and debuts in theaters June 17th. Dennis, what do you make of the first trailer for Swiss Army Man? Well, I not I never thought I'd say this ever in my life, but I buy the f- farting corpse <laughs> movie. Uh, I actually like the trailer. I, I mean, I had heard about this when Sundance was coming out, and I was like, what the hell is this? And it was very controversial. <laughs> I actually saw the trailer and I liked it because it's more than just the farting right. corpse. It, it's it's more of a fantastical kind of castaway mm. with Paul Dano and and Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, I I like the scene where uh, in the trailer where he uses him to cut the the the, the tree in half. Yeah. Paul Dano to me is one one of the best young actors out there. You know he was in There Will Be Blood playing against Daniel Day Lewis and he did a great job there. Also Love and Mercy last year the Beach Boys. Uh, movie that he was in he was fantastic so uh, I, i'm actually looking forward to it I, i'm very surprised schnepp do you buy this trailer or do you pass on this guy <laughs> <laughs> um i totally buy it i i laughed my ass off literally didn't fart but almost did um it's a hilarious trailer it's an incredible premise uh like daniel radcliffe is the soccer ball you know literally is a castaway like I yeah i mean yeah. W- w- just see the trailer and tell me you're not gonna you don't laugh during the trailer it is really funny and you know when I first heard about it, yeah on Sundance I was like what the hell what is, what is up with I cannot what it, it made no sense to me seeing this trailer now I cannot wait to see this film yeah I'll I'll buy the trailer because I because I think what the movie's doing is very different and unique it's inventive but it it it's hard for me to say like you need first of all you need to go see this movie this is one where you definitely need to watch the trailer before you go see the flicks so you know what you're getting into right. but i feel really bad for this movie and i'm not sure how you market it at this point because when you already have the no pun intended stench of the <laughs> farting corpse movie on you that people are going to look at this in a very different light and then when that's all you know about the movie is that oh yeah is that the movie where harry potter farts and he's dead <laughs> then you see the trailer and that's the first thing they do is like is is, is Paul yeah. Dano sees the body, he goes up and then he just unleashes a ripper. It's like, oh God, you're just now it's gonna be known as the farting corpse movie. And Weekend this trailer at Bernie's put the nail yeah. in the coffin. Yeah, this is Did a, Bernie fart in Weekend at I, Bernie's? I don't remember. I sure hope so. I mean, like it's one of those things that's important in a brilliant movie called Corks in the mid nineties is the stuff that happens to you after you die, immediately after you die, your body has to get rid of some stuff, oh. some weird things happen post mortem, but that's part of the fun with this movie. But it also looks like a very spiritual journey for Paul Dano's character. So the movie I'm totally locked in on, and that's in large part due to the trailer, but them selling this to a large audience, it's not gonna be a bunch of giggling sophomore kids like what we are. (laughs) I don't know that this trailer managed to do that. It might have just cemented it deeper as the farting corpse movie. The weirdest film ever made. I think it's operatic in its fartish tone. You know, how are, how are critics going to describe this stench-based film? It really, it's a stinker. How are they going to, what are they going to say? I think it's going to be a masterpiece. Of farts. Of- <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.